December the 4th, Mike Riley was named the new head coach at Nebraska. Two months later, he has his first recruiting class with the Huskers, which is getting good reviews for balancing the past with the future, addressing some needs, and adding strength along the way to the roster. This is a, a good class that started with the guys that were committed to Nebraska when we got here. Two keys to this class, keeping out-of-state guys like the Davis Twins, defensive tackles Carlos and Khalil, out of Blue Springs, Missouri, which they did. There's no place like Nebraska. Nebraska. I mean, there's a lot of good places, but just the town and the stadium is... It's nothing like it, especially walking in. Just that home feel. Every time I go up there, I feel like that's like that's my second home. And keeping in-state guys like Michael Decker, an offensive lineman from Omaha North. You know, he made it as comfortable as he could, considering the you know situation I was in. You know, le learning the new, uh, meeting the old coaches and, and meeting him. It was great. We we have a good relationship. And then supplement the good start with a strong finish. Mike Raleigh thrilled to get a commitment from Jalen Barnett, a six foot four, 310 pound offensive guard from Oklahoma, who goes to the same high school as Husker legend, college, and now professional Hall of Famer Will Shields. I really thought about it, and yeah, I kind of want to be like him Hall of Famer, great player at Nebraska, great player at Lone High. Of the 20 new scholarship athletes here at the University of Nebraska for the class of 2015, it includes four defensive linemen. Four linebackers, four defensive backs, and three offensive linemen. So, why so many players at those particular positions? You know, in recruiting, uh, linemen are gold, I, and I think this is a this is a good class. And so, both offensive and defensive linemen, I think this is good. The other, the other thing, DBs in general, but the other thing that's gold is corners. And if you got linemen and corners, we can we can find those other positions. But I think another trademark of this class is that we've added some linebackers in a in an area we really needed to. And it all adds up to a rock solid class to kick off the Mike Riley era. I thought that uh, this thing rounded out real well. Twenty recruits in Mike Riley's first recruiting class from coast to coast, California to Florida, to fill his first recruiting class in Lincoln. Players from 13 different states, including. Nebraska. So, how did the Huskers class grade out? Here's insider Sean Callahan with Thor Trip in Lincoln. All right, Sean Callahan here, HuskerOnline.com. We know a little bit about the individuals involved in this class, but as a whole, where does this group rank nationally and also in the Big Ten? Well, Thor, uh, Nebraska finished just outside the top 25 in the Rivals.com rankings. We had them at number 31 uh, within the Big Ten. Nebraska was at number four. Ohio State, far and away, the top class. No surprise, national champions. Then you had Penn State. Then you had Michigan State. Then Nebraska. So, uh, really, I thought a, a good year for the first staff. And then you compare Nebraska, Thor, uh, to, to first year head coachings and these coaching changes. Uh, Nebraska was second, just behind Florida. Florida was at number 23. They had a late surge, uh, but Nebraska. Nebraska did a lot better down the stretch than teams like Wisconsin, teams like Michigan, all teams that underwent coaching changes. Now we don't have to wait a whole lot until we find out how this class looks in practice, kicking off spring football on March 7th. All right, thank you, fellas. Mike Riley, eight preferred walk on seven of the eight from Nebraska, including a couple from Gretna and Jared Brugman and Austin Hempel, and the only quarterback in the class, Reed Carroll from Seward. Five Omaha North players signed their letters of intent to play football. We mentioned Michael Decker to Nebraska. Peyton Nelson will play at Kearney. McKees Lewis will play at South Dakota State. Calvin Strong and De Devilon Whitcomb will play for South Dakota. Now, most of those signing ceremonies were postponed until tomorrow because of the snow, including Omaha Central's Deshaun Neal. Of course, he's going to Nebraska as well. College.